Rumors have iOS 5 being released in April with a full mobile Mi revamp. Verizon quickly grasping 12% of the US iPhone market in just one month. And AT&T seems to already know if you're carrying a jailbroken iPhone. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everybody, I'm Jaime Rivera and welcome to the Pocket Now iReview, the show where we go through all this week's cool and the not so cool inside the world of Apple's iOS devices. Let's start this week off with the cool. Just as Apple released iOS 4 back in April 2010, rumors have that iOS 5 will be released sometime within April in an Apple event. Call this just in time after the release of Xcode 4 that was recently published from Apple. Well, it seems we don't have any sort of specifics on what to expect with the update, but there seems to be a lot of buzz with Mobile Me getting a full revamp and even no price tag. Now, we've been waiting for this Mobile Me update for a while now, so we'll believe when we see. Wide iPhone 4 rumor seems to be getting stronger. It seems that Apple has finally noticed that users went so crazy over the white iPad 2 that a market without a white iPhone 4 had a big gap in it. Well, Philip Schiller comes up on Twitter first saying that the white iPhone 4 will be released in spring. And then we have the icons of the white iPhone 4 in both GSM and CDMA versions pop up on iTunes 10.2. Now call this in time for an April event? Could be. Rumors have the next generation iPhone sporting a larger screen within the same current iPhone 4 design. Which makes all the sense in the world if you consider that the retina display is able to provide more pixels per inch than the human retina is able to figure out. Aside from that, NFC technology is also being mentioned and a metallic backing instead of the current glass on glass design. Now will this be aluminum, stainless steel, hey, titanium, liquid metal or whatever, we're not really sure or even sure if we'll see more information about this in the April supposed event. So, could be. Speaking of Verizon, it seems that they've already nabbed 12% of the US iPhone market in just one month, which is a lot of great performance considering that AT&T has had four years and four iPhones to build the rest of the 88% that's left. Really cool numbers? Let's hope that they bring real sales figures to the market soon. And well, good news for those who unlock their iPhone 3GS with Ultra Snow 1.2. All you need is to update your Ultra Snow with an Ultra Snow Fixer, which was brought by the same developer that created Tiny Umbrella. Remember that Ultra Snow 1.2 was the one that brought the iPad baseband 6.15 to the iPhone 3GS. Now, there's no word on when anybody will ever figure out how to unlock the iPhone 4 above 1.2. 59 baseband, but there are a lot of us who pray every day kneeling down for anybody to figure it out. Anyways. And well, out of the updated applications for the week, Google Mobile has just changed their name to Google Search and brought a lot of really cool UI enhancements to the application. Aside from that, well, Bing has just brought QR code and even Microsoft Tag support for iOS devices. And if you blog, well, the WordPress application has brought almost 100 bug fixes in their current update. So make sure you update these applications ASAP. Well, that does it for the cool. Let's continue on with the not so cool. If you've got a jailbroken iPhone on AT&T, well, it seems that they already know if you did so. Now, that doesn't worry us so much as to the fact that users have already been getting emails and even text messages because they've been using their current data plan without tethering with MyWi or TetherMe or iTether to bring their internet connection to their computers or iPads. Now our advice to you is, well, wait for your bill to come up or check online to see if you're getting extra billing because, you know, that could be a problem. Aside from that, well, not really sure what AT&T can do with this legally, but again, it's your device, but it's their service, so we'll see what happens in the end. Nitro JavaScript did make it to iOS 4.3 and yeah, browsing has gotten a lot better on iOS devices. Now the ironic part is when web applications are not really working well with the current iOS 4.3 update. Instead of working the same or working better, it seems that web applications that weren't optimized for the Nitro JavaScript are even getting much slower than they were before. Not really sure what to expect nor if Apple will bring an update or if this has to do with the developers having to improve their code. Uh, anyways. Now Apple has just released their new iPhone ads called If You Don't Have an iPhone. And even though they do a good job telling you what things you can do with an iPhone that you can't do everywhere else, how about if we do the same thing backwards? So here goes our own version of the ad. 
If you don't have an iPhone, well, you don't have to worry about carrying a phone you can't easily unlock and end up with an overpriced iPod Touch. You don't have to be stuck to the same UI that was designed three years ago and can't even be customized. You don't have to worry about your carrier knowing what you do with your own property. Yep, if you don't have an iPhone, you most likely carry an Android phone. Anyways, that's it for today's show. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.